Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, we're going to take two tables, stock codes and stock names, and we're going to combine them without using the merge function. Now, it's very simple to do. You can do it, there's many ways to do this, but I'm going to show you some creative techniques in Power Query that will blow your mind, open your mind to different ways that you can do your Power Query. So, even though it's a simple task, hopefully it will teach you new things about how you can use Power Query. Well, let me show you how to do it. All right, uh, we want to now pull it into Power Query. As you can see, we have the two tables. The one is called stock codes. The other one is called stock names. I'm going to take stock codes, go to data and say from table, pulls it into Power Query. I'm just going to take out this last step over there. I'm going to copy that out. And as first step, I'm just going to make that null. I'm going to say null. Yeah, then I'm going to add a step. And in this step, I'm just going to paste that code where I took stock codes from that table in that sheet and then say okay cool i'm just going to rename that let's take that step away rename this as table one and table one is the stock codes i'm going to add another step and just paste that other code in there and we know that that second data set was called stock names put it in there so now it's going to rename this to table two so now what you have is you have one query, source is null, table one is all the codes, and table two is the actual names. Pretty cool, all in one query. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a step, and we are gonna convert table one and table two into lists. So we're gonna use a specific formula for that. This formula is called table column. So table column takes the input of a table and it turns it into a list. Okay, so let's quickly do that. We're gonna say, table two columns and we're going to feed it table one so table one is now a list there you can see those are the stock codes if i look at table one there's the stock codes but you can see what we're missing there is the header i'm going to use something called table demote headers i'm going to stick it in there so now if you look at this list you have your stock code as your first row now I'm just going to copy this over there. And this now refers to that first table. It converted that stock code into a list. I want to do something similar to the stock names. I'm just going to say and and paste the very same query in there. I'm going to say refer to table two, which is the stock names. Now it's got the two lists on top of each other. So the stock codes and then the stock names. And now to combine these two lists that are now stacked above each other i'm going to use a function called table from columns which basically takes lists multiple lists and stacks them next to each other as a table so here we're going to say table from columns yeah i'm going to close it up and there we go so basically com combined and merged those two lists table one and table two the stock names and the stock codes into one table we just now want to promote the header. Table promote the headers. And there you go. Pretty cool. I like that method of doing it. So that's that's the gist of it. Let's say, for instance, we actually want to create a function out of that. So I'm just going to copy this. Let's say duplicate. So I can say, take all of this junk. Take that all away. And you can see the two parameters to take is table one and table two. What we can say here is we say table one table two rocket ash table stock function and i'm just going to show you how you can use that let's say we duplicate that one and we take that one out we just add a new step and we can just say there table stock function and we give it the two parameters table one and table two and like magic there's the same result using a function isn't that cool? We bring that data back and you can see we basically merge the two lists. Now you can obviously see that there's some shortcomings to this approach because your lists need to be sorted. They need to have the same order and you know you just put them next to each other to get the output list. I hope this video gave you some cool ideas around how you can use table from columns and table to columns and to get creative. BA Sensei signing out.